Hey, hi, howdy, and hello, friends. It's Wickedy here, and I just made a massive tea empire all throughout Pelican Town. So about a month ago, I showed you all about making some insane early money from tea saplings, which kind of gave me this crazy idea. I want to make Caroline seriously regret becoming friends with me. Look out, Joja. There's a new soul sucking industry coming to town. I'm going to completely take over Pelican Town and turn this place into a straight up tea factory. Not like you were really doing anything with the place anyways, Lewis, right? <laughs> Deal with it. Okay, in my Today I Learned video, I went over that you can actually grow tea saplings inside of garden pots like anywhere, and I'm going to use all of this free real estate to really make a boatload of money. Yes, Willie. A whole entire boatload. I got my greenhouse unlocked, so it's time to make like so many garden pots. Thanks again, Evelyn. Oh, and here for you. Let's plant a nice little tulip for her to show our appreciation to Granny. Wait, what? Rude, George. Just rude. Garden pots each need clay, so off to the beach it is for me. <laughs> Don't mind me. Just doing the old clay farming method I watched in that one Tushia video, which learned from Piano Attic stream videos, which is now being used in my video and linked in the description of this video. And uh, okay, yeah, I got off track. How many do I want? <laughs> like all of it. I need enough for about 2,400 pots. Refined quartz? I got crystallariums filled with fire quartz to cover all that. Three a pop, thank you very much. And stone. George, that 35 stone just isn't going to cut it. Okay, Robin, sell me everything. Oh, goodness, this is going to be so expensive. <laughs> How can I lift and carry 8,000 stones back to the farm, you ask? <laughs> I work out. <laughs> I got muscles. <laughs> Now that I have all the goods to craft all the pots, it's time to get the whole thing set up. There is a villager's path map on the wiki, but I went ahead and updated it on my site for the 1.5 update as it's changed a little bit. I put the link down below. I'll be using this to make sure that someone doesn't destroy all my hard work. I'm looking at you, Pam. Wait, Caroline? Oh, betrayal. Why you gotta play me like that? I thought we were friends, even though I literally stopped talking to you once I got the recipe for the tea saplings. Uh, anyways. I also need about 2,400 tea saplings. I've been making a ton of winter seeds on this farm last year. Plus we have the spring harvest too, so I should be pretty covered there. Wood, we got that pretty much covered with the hardwood lumber yard and plus the train yard lumber yard. Uh, just a measly 12,000 wood will do. Oh my gosh. And fiber. Oh, dear fiber. Why are you such a pain to get? I have learned to make fiber seeds, but it's still not going to be enough. Back to the beach, I guess, for a little more clay farming. Well, actually... Okay, spoiler warning, y'all. Skip to here if you don't want me to blow your mind with the best way to get fiber and stone. But really, it is a late game spoiler, so be sure to skip this part. Okay, I'm just gonna go and get myself a few deconstructors from the walnut room. I got a lot of jade to trade for those staircases to deconstruct into 99 stone each. That'll help with the stone supply for those garden pots. All right, and stop. Fiber time. Hello, Pierre. So, I hear you have a uh, secret stash somewhere. I'd please like to buy some grass starters. A hundred a pop? Sure, let's get two full stacks. Each breaks down to ten fiber. Uh, this might take a while. All right, and done. Cool, sweet, totally rad and awesome. I have everything I need to make all of the saplings. Now it is time to place them all. Is this a bit of an overkill? Well, yeah, but I do what I want. Pelican Town? Nah. More like City of Lipton, am I right? <laughs> Straight out of Lipton. Uh, yeah, anyways. Okay, plants. You ready yet? No. How about now? Nope. Oh my gosh, Caroline, can you please just stay out of my plants? I swear this is like catnip to her. Nope. No touching. So in preparation, I got kegs for days on my farm for when it's time to make us some tea. 
I could turn these into pickles, but honestly, tea is gonna bring in more money per hour if you got the time to waste on making more every three hours, which I do. It's not like I've got anything else important to do. Yeah. 20 days to get these to grow, plus we have to wait for the last week of the season, so I'm going to take the long sleep, or just a very extended nap. I really do hope that I wake up from this. Okay, today's the day! It's finally Monday the 22nd, and it is time to harvest. Coffee and crab cakes for that extra zoom? Check. How long is this gonna take anyways? Oh wait. What? Wait, why am I not getting any leaves from these plants? What is going on? Uh, okay, so <laughs> I learned something new many, many hours into getting this video set up. So sure, you can plant tea saplings anywhere that you can place a garden pot, but that doesn't mean that you're gonna be getting any tea leaves from them all. Uh, I'm not crying, you're crying. Okay, yeah, I cried. On the 22nd, I attempted to harvest them all until I nearly passed out, and I ended up with a total of 355 tea leaves out of almost 2,400 plants. Um, so that's about 15% of them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be sick. The next day, I ended up with 430, which leads me to believe that I missed quite a few on the first day. But the same bushes that I harvested that gave me leaves yesterday also gave me leaves today. So after one whole week of harvesting tea leaves, or trying anyway, from all around Pelican Town, and I did miss a few here and there, I turned them all into tea, which gave me a grand total of, drum roll please, 2,933 tea, which I sold for 410,620 gold. So, was it worth it? No. <laughs> was it fun? No. Uh, well friends, this was a bit different than my usual type of video, but it sure was a blast to make. Well, at first anyways. Not the setup, oh sweet Yova, no, that was dreadful. And the painful discovery along the way too, ah. Uh. Okay, hold up, I just gotta uh, add something in here real quick. So I have this video uploaded and totally ready to go. Was looking over the screenshots of the town and noticed something. <laughs> there is a pattern. I cannot believe that I didn't see this before. So the pattern for harvestable saplings is actually in vertical rows with a space of four between them all. I loaded up a brand new farm, modded in the pots and tried this again and could get 673 saplings in spaces that won't be destroyed by anyone and can be harvested. Still, if I had gotten them all in a week, that would be just over 4,700 leaves to make into whatever. So even though pickles do take 22 times longer than tea to process, if you do go the pickle route, this could earn you a good 989 or so thousand gold in a season. So if you don't mind the cost of making the pots, I'd say go for it. Oh, and I have linked the screenshot of the tea rose for anyone else who might wanna try this out. But anyways, if you enjoyed my struggle for some reason and you liked this type of video, be sure to let me know in the comments and I'll look into making more fun stuff like this. And be sure to subscribe to like, you know, if you wanna. Whatever, you do you. Alrighty, I'm Wickedy. Thanks so much for hanging out in the valley with me and I will see you next time. Bye!